Hey guys, my name is Veronica, aka Ron. I'm a military serving, makeup enthusiast loving woman of God who loves to travel. Hi, I'm Lewis, aka Lou. I am a Christian leader, a spiritual influencer, and I'm a bookworm, and I love doing things with my wife. We were engaged on August 20th, 2017, and then wed on October 20th, 2018. Join our family, hit the subscribe button, and join us for an adventure of a lifetime. Welcome back to Ron and Lou. Look, there's Lou. Hello. Um, we're traveling, so hopefully the clips that I shot in the beginning look good. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be vlogging. We're here to see baby. Because <sighs> my sister had her final child, so she now has um, biologically two boys because of course my nephew Jaden which you guys remember him from like my very first videos on YouTube if you don't know what I'm talking about go back and look at Veronica Luke's channel and scroll back to the very click on the link to go to the oldest videos he's on there and he was like two or three um now he has a little brother and then of course everyone so we're excited to be back in Wichita Kansas it's actually where Lewis and I met um and where I moved from to get stationed in Montana. So a lot of my stuff has still has Kansas all over it. So it's nice to be a place where I can eat Panera and go to Chick-fil-A and Smoothie King and Abuelos, P.F. Chang's, Red Robin, Doc Green's, um, a mall. So you appreciate the finer things in life. but. What I like about Montana is there's no traffic really, so. And I'm so glad the Canon G7X is picking up the lighting much better. I look like a fetus right now, but that's okay. Um, I have a, I have some pimples going on from my birth control, which I think I'm going to stay off of because I, my, I'm breaking out and I do not do breakouts, so my days are numbered. I think I'm probably gonna do maybe one more set of pills and then I'm done because I want to research ovulation ovulation do it the natural way so anyways I'm gonna actually I brought my government laptop my personal laptop study material so I have a lot I could be working on the baby is on his way home they're still stuck in the hospital but right as Lewis and I arrived um, the nurse said hey, you guys can get discharged now. So um, Vanessa's husband went up to go pick them up. I'm on Jaden duty. Jaden, say hi to my vlog. Hi. Say your name. My name is Jaden. And how old are you? Nine years old. Nine. About to be 10 this year. Yeah, and everyone thinks, everyone used to think that you were my son. Remember that when you were teeny tiny? Cause we look alike, so everyone used to think like, oh, but now Jaden's starting to look a little different, but you know, he's turning into a little man. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just gonna have fun. So we'll catch you guys in the next clip. Bye. Bye. <laughs> How cute would it be though if his hair stayed straight? Like, because it kind of fits his face right now. Mm -hmm. I think he would look cute with straight hair. Do they have nipples? Yes. Cute. Bumpkin stores. We don't need another store with cowboy boots and stuff.
He is so cute, you guys. Like, You're look gassy. At him. Even on camera. Oh my god. Even on camera, he looks big. Also, I can't stand our neighbor. I, they're slamming doors. Mm -hmm. There's a couple days of footage. Trust me, content is content. Hi, guys. Hello. I feel like we're always in the car, too. <laughs> <laughs> they're probably like, you guys are always in the car. Um, update is, um, sorry, let me turn it down since the sun is like directly on us. Update is we just left the house. Um, we play with baby Jaleel, or played, held him. Um, yeah. We're going to Abuelos, which is, if you're from Kansas, Wichita, Kansas specifically, you know what Abuelos is. It's like a, a Mexican restaurant, but it's a little bit more fancier. Um, but it's not that fancy. It's just fancier than those like hole in the wall ones. Um, what else? I'll probably, maybe, because I think Froyo's over here. Maybe I can bring some Froyo back oh, yeah, for Jaden um, as his, you know. Is hey, <laughs> do better. Um, so, what else is going on? We are exhausted. Um, I'm running on fumes, but every time I see the baby, I'm like, ooh, I have a burst of energy, but I'm exhausted. Um, so I can't wait to take a shower, put a face mask on, get rid of, hopefully get rid of these pimples. Like, oh, I'm so frustrated because this birth control is just breaking out my skin, but it never lasts, it only lasts around that time every month and then it just goes away but it's like every month I shouldn't have to deal with this so I know I keep complaining about it so I'm gonna do something about it but I don't know if it's gonna be sooner than what I want what you gonna do about it I'm gonna do <laughs> natural birth control ovulation birth control is what it's called um, no <laughs> um, my hair looks a little bit of a mess because Number one, um, I've been flying all day. Number two, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, so I put zero effort into my hair. This is how I wear my hair at work. Um, with my edges laid down, didn't even bring edge gel because I was like, I'm getting my hair done. But then I remembered, oh, I'm probably gonna need some gel, but I think we'll be fine. Uh, what else is going on? Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Lewis was gonna go to this thing called AIM, where it's basically like a conference for um, oh, okay for our denomination our Christian denomination um, and they had Donnie McClurkin which if you guys don't know who he is he's like a pretty big gospel artist well known old, more um, older school or older school he's more old school but he's still he's been around for a he's while. been around like he's not like old words like Oh, he's singing hymns, but he's definitely yeah. one of like the gospel. He's like a pioneer. I would say founding father. Yeah, he's a pioneer. Yeah, guy. like when gospel started to blow up, it was like the McClurkins, the uh, what were the the Clark sisters, the Clark sisters uh, stuff John like P. That. the Winans. Yes, Kyle, well, yeah, that's when when so, gospel was at its best. Kurt Franklin, like that's when they were all in their prime. They were a lot, lot, lot younger. Not that they're old, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. So he's a part of them. And he's here in Wichita, so, um, and if you guys don't know Wichita, I know a lot of people are like, oh, Kansas, but where we're at is a pretty huge city, very large, so they have a bunch of stuff here, and this is where, like I said earlier, where Lewis and I met each other, and uh, we have a lot of friends here, a lot of our bridal parties here, so we're gonna, oh, they have an old spaghetti factory. Oh, they built it. I don't like old spaghetti factory, sorry. Um, you just, that was the best because you wasn't even hungry. I wasn't hungry. It wasn't. You came. Like, you, know, you, you, you came. You have an opinion really about. It. You didn't really. Eat anything. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really. I literally had three bites of that meal, you guys. Yeah, and you had three bites when you wasn't hungry. It's like yeah. So you can't. Yeah. What I really want to eat is um, uh, P.F. Chang's. Oh my gosh, those lettuce wraps, the tofu ones, and or the chicken ones. Either, either or. Um, and then they have. Oh, is it? Yeah, uh, they renamed it to Peach Wave. Was it always Peach Wave? It was always Peach Wave. Oh, okay, sorry. It's <laughs> been a while. So they have a Froyo spot over here that Lou and I love. So we're going to get some Froyo probably to go afterwards. Um, and that way, get some for everyone and see how that goes. But yeah, so I'm going to go. We'll check back in and show you guys the food. I probably won't, you know, talk, over the, talk in there because... People stare here in this city too when you have cameras out, but yeah. 
anyways, hopefully you guys are enjoying your day. I'm enjoying not being at work. It's refreshing to kind of get a change of scenery so I'm not becoming complacent. Ooh, great parking, which means it's gonna be a great meal. <laughs> That's what I always say. But anyways, okay, I'm hungry, let's go eat. Hey guys, so starting out with our appetizer at Abuelos, we got the, what are these, jalapeno poppers? And then chips and salsa. And Luis is very happy because he loves Mexican, don't you? Yep. <laughs> So he is very happy. And finally, I got a sweet tea and I didn't have to ask for packs of sugar. They made it sweet. Thumbs up. Oh my gosh, my nails need to be done so bad. So, guys, look at that. Yours looks phenomenal, first of all. Look how big these enchiladas are. Super excited. Um, yeah. 